this is an opportunity to be like, yo, you probably have these like ideas about Baltimore and about people from around here. Um, but what if we took all the different cool historical aspects of being from Baltimore, being from Maryland and put them on a jersey? We have some of the coolest imagery. We have some of the coolest colors and designs that are already associated with Baltimore. I feel like so many people from, from Maryland in general are sitting and be like, yo, this is the opportunity we can take because other cities have done their city connections. Like, great. Yeah, we get it. You're from San Diego. Cool. But Maryland, if there's any fucking place that's going to just put on with a sick fucking crazy like balls to the wall, like like inspiring type of like didn't even know you could do that type shit, mm -hmm. it would be us. And instead they went, yeah, people think we're boring. So we just said, fuck it. We are. What the fuck? Yeah. It's, it's more than disappointing. It's, it's insulting. Perfect. The Baltimore Orioles just released. Oh, uh, the the but they're only playing in it once, right? I think they play in it like I think it's like technically supposed to be like our new alternate for the year. I think we wear it on like three separate games. I didn't know that, and I wish I did know that before I decided to get really angry. Yeah, I thought it was like a whole new week. redesign, and I was like, "Damn, this sucks." But then I realized it was like a money grab, mm -hmm. and I don't really care anymore. Yeah, it just it just doesn't look good. It doesn't at all. And of course, you know, I can always count on Joey to have the exact opposite opinion of me. But he made a whole <laughs> TikTok about how he thinks it's kind of dope. And uh, I like the idea. Like, I like how they're like, let's make a camo pattern out of all the different neighborhoods in Baltimore. But like the average Joe who's looking at that shit is not going to understand that's what it is. Yeah, absolutely not. And also, it looks like they tried to make like a pride uniform, but then like fucked it up. <laughs> that is, it's like, let me see if I can pull it the most. And there's like nothing wrong with it because they did a pride uniform. Like most teams do proud pride uniforms now. It's not like it, I'm not trying to do, make it a dig or anything, but it, it legit looks like this was like their second draft of a pride uniform and they forgot to make whatever this was meant to be. Here we go. I'm going to take a piss real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So we pulled up that you can see what that looks like. You can also see what my safari looks like there. So basically, this is a, a all black for anybody listening. It's an all black jersey with uh, just in plain white font. First of all, they have uh, it's all black jersey, all black pants, and they have a white belt with black shoes. Now, a major fashion faux pas, and I'm no fashionista, even though we spent the first 30 minutes of this podcast talking about fashion. Uh, and if, if there's any dead giveaway of how much I don't know about fashion, uh, it's that segment. Um, white belt. The belt is supposed to match the shoes. Look, if you're, if you're a grown adult, especially grown man, because there's way more rules for fashion for women. So many rules you couldn't even imagine. There's so many different things you can wear as a woman. You see a girl buy a top and it's just like, like they don't even call them shirts. They call them tops because you could literally buy a scarf and then like there's some like weird way you're supposed to tie it around your shoulders and stuff and it's a shirt. It's like there's so many things like all men really have to know is don't ever button the top button of a uh, sports jacket. Um, always... You know, never match plaid and stripes or stripes and polka dots. Like, never mix patterns. A new one I learned is um, you're not really supposed to mix silver and gold. You're not really supposed to mix metals. Um, so you, if you're going to wear gold stuff, you wear all gold. But one of the easiest fashion tips for men, match the belt to the shoes. If you're wearing a brown belt, you wear brown shoes. If you're wearing a black belt, you wear black shoes. If you're wearing a white belt, you should be wearing black shoes and vice versa. We are wearing a white belt and you can't see it from this picture, but trust me, they're wearing black shoes. Mm. I think it's... Uh, now, obviously, uniforms are much different than just regular fashion in terms of their rules and stuff like that. Uh, you know, because obviously there's a lot of things with sports uniforms that wouldn't fly in just everyday stuff, yeah. you know. But what really bugs me is that of all the it's not so much that this uniform is just something that's going to get worn once or twice mm -hmm. 
it's the concept that these uniforms were invented or the whole purpose of this, what they call City Connect program is uh, it's run by Nike because I forget who is the actual person who makes all the jerseys for MLB, but it's not Nike. Mm. So Nike Was has like Mitchell and Ness or I don't know. It's, I know they do basketball jerseys. I think it's one of like the big ones, like something with an R Reebok or maybe something like that. I don't oh. know. Um, but it's not Nike, I'm pretty sure. So not every team has a City Connect, and it's something that they've been doing over the course of the past three years, where they um put, you know, pick a team and then they Nike, I guess, collaborates. I'm assuming, I guess. It would make the most sense if they're going to call something a City Connect jersey that it involves Nike collaborating with people that are actually from that city to make a uniform that, you know, connects with the people of that city. And so my whole kind of angle of looking at it and why I was so angry is that to me, when you have a city like Baltimore in a state like Maryland, with a baseball club like the Orioles, which all encompass, I mean, forget about the Orioles being one of the longest establishment, uh, longest established teams in the major leagues. Not the longest, but one of them. We're, we've been around. We've been around. We have a lot of history. We've had a lot of great players. Um, aside from the fact that Baltimore being such a historic city with so much lore surrounding it. You know, you got Edgar Allan Poe, you got the Ravens, we got Birdland, we got Charm City, we got Be More. And like a lot of these City Connect jerseys will have like the city nickname on it, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and aside from Maryland having the dopest flag in the Union and we rock with it hard. Mm -hmm. Um, and like Under Armour based in Maryland. So they made like the Terps football jerseys and they were just awesome and like Everybody around the whole NCAA was just like, dude, what the fuck is with Maryland's uniform? They are hard as shit. Like, because I think the thing, and so there was a lot of people going like, yo, we should have had Charm City on it. And like, what annoyed me was they come out with this basic uniform, just plain black uniform with just the word Baltimore in basic stock white print font. Mm -hmm. And then they have a hat that's just like a cursive B, which A annoys me because it's like, dude, Boston already has the B. Yeah. You see people walk around with a Red Sox hat. It's just the B. And I think that they're trying to like, it's like a, but it's like, it's nothing special about the B. It's just like no. a cursive B. Yeah. You know, it's literally just the B that like every baseball uniform, basically most of them have the same font that like baseball font with like the sophomore font. Yeah. Just the fucking like underline with the thing. And it's like, that's the B from that font. So you basically just took the B from that font for better or worse, uh, worse. And just put it on the cap. Mm -hmm. And then instead of incorporating anything that had to do with like the, the state of Maryland or whatever, they designed the inside of the jersey. Yeah. With like You're never gonna see that. A colorful, you know, it was in the print of like the neighborhoods of Baltimore, which I guess, okay, that's something, but like what like what bugs me is like it's so apparent. What bugs me is you'd you'd probably be the only one to recognize that because I remember you used to draw like the county lines for Maryland from yeah. memory and shit. Sure. So but autistic like, people love this, but which is even you fan. don't like it. I know that's what. <laughs> if I don't like it, that's then. what I'm saying. <laughs> You're the target demographic, <laughs> and you hate it. <laughs> and they, they so basically what annoys you is like I saw the leaks beforehand and I was perturbed to say the least but then when they actually release it they do this whole thing where they go like they have like a slide and they have like pictures of the different players wearing it and like then they have like these like explanations like why they made certain decisions mm -hmm. so like the first thing that's annoying is like we decided to go with just baltimore in plain font because baltimore doesn't need to hide behind a nickname we are baltimore and we're proud of it and yeah. so it's like okay but we already have a jersey that says Baltimore on it. It's yeah. called our jersey. Yeah, the whole the whole uh, press release for the uniform drop. It's like I don't I don't know if you've ever seen like creative briefs before from like like uh, big companies will hire like uh, at, like agencies like creative agencies, ad agencies, whoever marketing agencies. Mm -hmm. They'll be like, "Hey, we want to do a rebrand. Like, we want a new like font, we want a new color palette, we want this, we want that." And like for the most part, those 
creative briefs and like brand uh, guideline documents that agencies make, they're usually like pretty good. But every once in a while, you'll see one, and it's like, oh my god, they phoned this in, and they're letting like a marketing intern make all this shit up while they pocket two hundred grand. Yes, and 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 that's very well. And that's put what this looked like because it's exactly the vibe you got. There were people in the comments saying like, "Yo, this is like how I would write a book report about a book I didn't read." Yeah, like it's just like this is like they. It looked like they used like. AI to write that brief. <laughs> they probably did. And like, so like, oh, we don't hide behind a nickname. And then they have like, you know, and the reason why they have the cuffs on the outside are black and white or gray scale. And then the inside is colorful. It's like, because that represents what people think about Baltimore. But on the inside, we know. And it's like, yeah, but dude, this was an opportunity to show people yeah. just how dope Baltimore and people of Maryland and that whole culture and like who we are. This is an opportunity to be like, yo, you probably have these like, ideas about Baltimore and about people from around here. Um, but what if we took all the different cool historical aspects of being from Baltimore, being from Maryland and put them on a Jersey. We have some of the coolest imagery. We have some of the coolest colors and designs that are already associated with Baltimore and Maryland. And, and instead of going like, yo, this is our opportunity. Like I feel like so many people from, from Maryland in general are saying, be like, yo, this is the opportunity we can take. Cause other cities have done their city connections. Like, great. Yeah, we get it. You're from San Diego. Cool. But Maryland, if there's any fucking place that's going to just put on with a sick fucking crazy like balls to the wall, like like inspiring type of like didn't even know you could do that type shit, mm -hmm. it would be us. And instead they went, yeah, people think we're boring. So we just said, fuck it. We are. What the fuck? Yeah. It's, it's more than disappointing. It's, it's insulting. It's insulting to insinuate or to suggest that a city connect program that is made to capture the essence of a city and the essence you captured was this you shouldn't be allowed to do that yeah. just like i said you shouldn't be allowed to foster an allegiance and loyalty from a certain metropolitan area by saying we're the oakland athletics we're the this we're the that we're the baltimore colts and then at the drop of a hat just be like psych we're moving because you've made money and gotten tax benefits and built stadiums and done all this shit and completely altered the face of the city for your private business only to go, oh, we're done with it now. We're moving somewhere else. Oh, you were a Colts fan. You were a lifelong Colts fan. You have memories of going to the, the uh, games with your grandfather. Fuck that. Who cares? We're going to India. Yeah, you actually did that in Indianapolis. Not yeah, Baltimore. that actually <laughs> happened in Indy. You didn't, re you didn't realize that, but that was actually... You're, you're so young, you don't remember, but you crossed state lines to do that. <laughs> Multiple states. <laughs> so you shouldn't, you shouldn't be allowed to do something that stupid and pitch it as something like that. And then, they, like I said, they have the cursive B up top. And it's just... I think what annoyed me more is like, I think when they do these City Connect things, they... You know, I think when they came to ball, I think I, I smell Micah. I smell Micah. I think there were some art students who decided, hey, you know what we should do? Instead of taking something that is relevant to a sport and the fun aspects of the city and all the cool aspects of being a Marylander that represent the spirit of baseball, a positive, fun thing that's supposed to make everyone happy and create great memories. Instead of creating something that appeals to that and captures that side of our city and our state, let's make some type of, I'm sorry to say it, I smell a little bit of like that, like there's a little bit of like, social commentary going on there i it's don't hard. even i wouldn't even say that it's uh if someone at micah did it it would have looked a lot better this is like a i think it's like how you go look at like modern art and it's like they're like uh it's like that art exhibit where they like tape the duct tape the banana to the wall yeah. and it's like do you get it it's basically like it's basically like uh a take on how ridiculous this all is that like I could literally take a banana and duct tape it to a wall and that's like the point it's like you have to get it and I feel like this uniform they were going at it from this stand was like you kind of have to get it you have to understand like you have to really understand Baltimore to get it it's like dude we get it we're from here yeah. we want other people because the only thing that other people that aren't from Baltimore ever hear about Baltimore is this shit 
Yeah. Well, and I mean, so this opportunity to be like, hey, we're not just the crime ridden city. We're actually pretty dope. And we actually, we're not just a boring city. We actually have a lot of culture and stuff here. So this is an opportunity to be like, oh, you thought Baltimore sucked. It's a shithole. And all you hear about when you turn on the news is crime and blah, 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 blah. This is an opportunity to be like, actually, people in Maryland are really stoked to be from here. And it's, you know, what's that statement when you, oh, we're the first team to ever design the inside of a uniform? That's a statement. That's They're so saying, dumb. Yeah, it's dumb. <laughs> oh, you know, Baltimore has been the the site of many new innovations and inventions and stuff like that. So that's why we took this opportunity to become it's the first even, team. Like, what would have been cool is if it was like reversible. That would have been cool. That would have been cool. And so it's like you get this sense of like somebody trying to do something that was like a social commentary, trying to make it like this big metaphor, trying to make it this deep concept that captures the inner strife and blah, 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 blah. And I'm sorry, you fucking missed because that's not that's not what this is about. And not everything has to be about that. Sometimes it's just supposed to be fun and it's an opportunity or cool to, or cool fun or cool. Look, if you did or it look a, good or look good, <laughs> that's really the main thing. That's all it has to be, you know, and it's just they took like they they did nothing with the bird. So it's like, OK, so that's like a fun aspect. Like, look at our logo. Look at even the Orioles logo. It's 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 it emits this kind of like we're just chilling. It's a bird. Like the raven is like, I'm gonna fucking eat your ass. And that Royal's like, what's up, dude? Yeah. I'm smiling. The Oriole's like Mickey Mouse. Yeah, he's chilling. He's having fun. He's having a good time, baby. He's at Camden Yards. He's having fun. Buy him some peanuts and cracker jacks. So you get rid of that. And you go, nah, dude. Plain white script. Time. Give me, give me, like I said to Joey, dude, give me fucking 10 minutes in Microsoft Word and I'll get you that fucking design. It's fucking <laughs> bullshit, dude. It's fucking bullshit, and like I said, it's more than disappointing. It's insulting. Look, my chill era is dead. I I envy that Joey is so chill that he kind of doesn't like it, but he he's he's a fan, you know, and I love that about him, dude. He he fucks with Baltimore, he rides with Baltimore, and so he's gonna support them regardless because mm-hmm. he's chill. I'm just not chill, dude. I'm done. I I can't do it anymore, dude. If I see something that like I take personal offense to, I gotta let it out, man. My man went to a dry cleaner once (laughs) and lost his chill. I gotta let it out. I gotta let that hate out, man. So that's a big thumbs down to Baltimore City Connect. Like I said, send them back to Nike and let Under Armour take a crack at it. You want a real uh, uniform that's gonna connect with the city? How about letting a company that is from here do it? And then they'll know what symbolism Baltimoreans want to see. They'll know that we want to see Charm City on a jersey, dude. We see Baltimore on jerseys all the time. They know. And here's the other kind of conversation I got in with my brother because he was like, yeah, dude, but I could also understand like people probably get tired of the Maryland flag thing because I feel like that's like the go to thing. Like anybody from around here that does anything, like we all, like people, like, but I was saying, like, dude, yeah, for us, Mm -hmm. for us, we get, we think that sometimes it gets a little overdone. Obviously, if you grow up in Maryland, you see the Maryland flag so much. It's not like a novelty anymore. It's like, we get it. Our flag is dope. We put it on everything, whatever. But you also have to understand that to the other 49 states of America, they don't know that. Like, people might randomly, like, if you grew up in Minnesota, unless you, like, actively study state flags like my autistic ass did, you wouldn't know what Maryland, do I know what Minnesota state flag is? Hell no. No. I mean, I do, but that's because I'm autistic. <laughs> but does the average person, oh, hey, dude, what's uh, what's Wyoming's, fl- I don't know, probably just a brown square. I don't know what the fuck is Wyoming's state flag. So, yeah, we know that the Maryland flag is on everything, but, you know, the Ravens don't have that all over their fucking uniform. The Orioles don't have that all over their uniform. The Terps kind of do, but that's because of the University of Maryland. So this is an opportunity to take a professional sports team and go, yo, I don't know if you guys knew this. You might have known it if you're from Maryland, but you're probably not statistically. Uh, so this is how fucking dope we are, you know? And they just overlooked that and just went, you know what? Let's do the opposite. Let's prove to the rest of the league just how not dope we are and to that i say fuck you nike fuck you what gives you the right to create something that basically just solidifies every stereotype and and uh impression that the rest of the country has about baltimore and maryland that's bullshit 